What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty and we are back with this 2020 Volvo VNL 760 rebuild. And yeah, today's episode is very special. If you guys haven't seen the whole process in this cab, in this truck rebuild, go ahead to my other videos and just catch up with everything we got going on here because it's gonna be a little confusing if you start now, but if you go back, then you know, you're all caught up. So next step after the body work, pretty much, uh, yeah, we glued in this roof piece. We started bondoing everything, fiberglassing everything, primered everything down. And in this episode, guys, we are doing it. This is very, very, very scary because it's been a while since uh, we're at this step, but the painting process is about to begin. We're about to sand down the rest of this primer and we're gonna be painting the roof part first. So we're gonna be painting this portion and the little flare that goes up there. And we're gonna leave the Bondo job for like, we have little dents on the doors. We have a little dent right there on top of the quarter right there. And we're gonna kind of leave those alone for now. We're gonna get, you know, painted the roof cause it's really uh, hard to get all, all the way up there. And yeah, this portion of the roof isn't gonna be painted because it's actually perfect condition. Uh, we're gonna use this line right here to tape all the way across and we're just painting this section. Yeah, and all the way in the back also my pops over here helping me out getting most of the primer done the whole back right here is gonna get painted up so yeah that's the first step we're gonna go ahead and rough stuff the whole uh pretty much uh the whole top of the roof and then we're gonna be starting taping up it's getting dark so we're gonna be done with uh sanding and then we're gonna start taping it up probably today and then painting it tomorrow outside yes and i said outside a lot of people criticized me in my other video that when we installed uh, this uh, windshield here we painted this uh structure right here and everybody's like dude you're so ghetto you're painting outside but look it ended up perfect you guys can call me whatever you want uh all of this is doable outside you just make sure the weather conditions is perfect and that's exactly what's happening tomorrow weather is perfect so let's go ahead and get to the sanding part taping it up and painting the roof Alrighty, so yeah, it's time guys. Prepping is pretty much done. All we gotta do is uh, caulk a little bit of that line back there, I'll show you in a second. And then we need to tape off everything we need to tape off. So starting from there, tape that side off, tape the sunroof off, tape the glass off, and then everything on the sides. And we're gonna be ready for paint. It is noon and uh, it's perfect, perfect time uh, to paint. A semi truck outside. Yeah. <laughs> Whew. 
Woo! All righty, guys. Sun is about, let me see how much fingers I got. It's about 2.30 and uh, yeah, we need to paint this ASAP. We cannot wait. The sun is going down way too soon here in wintertime. In Florida, it feels good. It's actually 75, so that's kind of weird. But yeah, we've got a forklift set up here to grab the whole of the roof right there. Hopefully nothing, you know, messes up. And uh, yeah, this is how we got a station like this. I know a lot of you guys are gonna be worried, why aren't you taping all of this? This is actually gonna get sprayed, so is this door. Not really worried about it. The glass is, you know, scrape, scrape, whatever. So yeah, there you go. The back is already all cocked up at that little seam that I told you guys about. Got a little caulking going all the way around. The back is completely taped up. And yeah, we already went ahead and got wax and grease remover all over this mug and uh yeah she is ready to go mixing up the paint how far not bad it's an old fridge who guys who wants a hundred bucks right now if i guys didn't explain to you guys in another video pretty much it's a one stage coat and uh yeah clear and paint is already all mixed in with it so it covers up pretty well i'm gonna try to record most of the spring for you guys because it's uh yeah it, it covers really nice There's our air power, by the way, if you guys are wondering. First layer down. She looking really good. You can still see the primer a little bit, but that's meant to be like that. Oh man. Alrighty guys, it is next day. The tape is already completely off. She looking very, very good. So there is a slight dilemma. Pretty much in the rears, we do got a little bit of runs here and there, but I don't think I'm gonna take care of them. I mean, it's a one stage paint. It's really not a big deal. I don't think you guys can even see it on camera. I'm just gonna probably let that slide. I don't know yet. The second dilemma is the paint is uh, not matching quite like I want it to uh yeah so this one stage paint is to this VIN number but you guys already know after paint cures it's gonna be slightly different because it's very fresh and this is the old color right here on camera I don't even know that it's gonna be able to tell on camera but this side is slightly whiter than this side so I don't know what to do about that I think we should have just went ahead and painted the whole roof. Uh, yeah, and now I'm looking at it and we're gonna wait a couple more days. I'm gonna be starting to put the interior together. And uh, yeah, this door needs to be painted anyways. So we're thinking of just, we have enough paint. We have like half a gallon left. So we're thinking of just spraying one layer onto the roof just so it's blending in. And also the fairings and the quarter and obviously the door. So might as well paint the whole truck, right? Cause the hood is also gonna get painted. The whole truck will have a fresh paint of, <sighs> yeah, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we decide on that. I don't think it's that noticeable, but I'm pretty sure even on, yeah, even on camera you can tell. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna go ahead and repaint all that. Since this uh, quarter is gonna get painted anyways, we got a little bit of a ding right here, a little bit of ding right here this door has a little bit of dings yeah so that's that's what we're gonna do we're gonna pretty much paint this whole truck at least we got the roof part done that was very very important to do uh slacking a little bit on the color match but whatever what are you gonna do but for right now i think i'm gonna go ahead and finish up the interior 
Well, we got everything put back together in that corner right there. I still got the bunk bed right here to figure out. This is still not screwed in all the way. And yeah, finish her up back here. And then probably the hardest part actually is uh, figuring out where everything goes right here. I got a couple pictures, a uh, couple of references. I got all the parts here, so I'm not worried about that. But yeah, assemble everything correctly, by the way. So uh, nothing's gonna malfunction. But what's good about Volvo, they actually have everything marked for you. So if uh, your truck has, what is this trailer brake right here? This is uh, some sort of traction control right here. Everything's marked on all of these little things. So that's awesome when you're putting everything back together. Uh, yeah, and then I'm missing this right here. I think this is to the radio. Maybe one of the prongs to the shifter. I'm not really sure. So yeah, at least I got a parts truck back there. I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, slice and uh, install that but yeah everything's coming together pretty well i'm actually surprised that it's all fitting so yeah i'm gonna go ahead start installing everything and then we're gonna get back to the body work And the interior is almost all completed. She's looking very nice, but very dirty. But it is what it is. I got the bed all together. I got the bunk together. Everything is looking Gucci. This is all put on. Interior is pretty much complete, just needs a full detail. I do have uh, this little trim here that I still haven't put on. It pretty much looks like this, like some fake carbon fiber stuff. It goes along all the way here i'm not gonna put that on just yet and then i'm also missing uh these little button things it's not a big deal that can all be taken care of while when the cab is already on the truck but let's go to the outside forgot to record it but we also painted this uh wind fairing right here paint to match uh to the roof and there is a color difference here also it's not as dramatic as on the other side over there but it doesn't matter this whole side is going to get resprayed with the door oh yeah and the door panels are not on because we got a little bit of dings here and there we can uh, start pulling them out from from the inside so there's not too much bondo on the doors because be slamming them all the time you know what i'm saying and also uh this damaged door right here we actually have a door uh stored right there we're gonna go ahead and install that thing and then start taking off i think uh this side marker uh, oh yeah there it is there's the bolts to take them off this little thing comes off and then i think there's two bolts right here and one right here we'll take this off start taking off all of these stickers and getting it ready to sand it down and uh yeah painting this whole thing
the primer is on looking pretty good uh we're gonna pretty much dry sand it and i think that'll be the end of that but we might have to reprimer it we'll see how it ends up doing it feels pretty good though i mean i think i think we got it the first try but uh yeah the sun's going down and uh as you guys can tell i touched the primer because it, it dries pretty fast within an hour or two but we're not gonna go ahead and sand it until tomorrow but i'm going like try to you know start putting together most of this interior interior is almost done but these door panels since we were just pulling some of the dings out from the inside i didn't want to put the door panels on but it is time for that i already got the other side going we got trailer and work and stuff like that so i got the other side already working got all the wiring loomed up together just like it was from factory and yeah is uh ending pretty 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 good i like it it's almost time guys we're gonna probably put together the, the other side and uh sand it down and then finally painting it and i'm just regretting that we did not paint the roof all together the first try but guys i'm still learning so give me a break on that one everything's uh sanded down ready to go it's all flat white so yeah we're gonna paint the other side of the roof this whole side and then the other side Would you just look at it we're almost done and then we got that side to do but my dad is getting a truck delivered right now just wanted to show you guys it is uh i think 2017 or 16 duramax oh no one of the ramps fell off hold on hold on hold on, hold on, hold on. oh my goodness <laughs> hold on hold on this ram too <clears throat> Yeah, that would have been bad. Good. Good. Uh, exhaust is gonna rub, but it's okay. Ooh, this thing is big. That's what she said. Man. Noise. Yeah, yeah. It's big, man. It's big. All these dollies do it. Yeah, thank you so much. No problem. 6.6 .6. oh yeah she sounds good it's charging right up okay thank you nice barely any damage it was partially fixed up for us in the carolinas this is a whole nother story i probably won't get into it with you guys but it's nice does it sound good 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 yeah <laughs> it is next day 
and yeah she is looking very pretty very nice there's already a mark on here you see that but it's okay i think this happened yesterday with this hose but we should be good there there is a problem though some spots are a little runny like you might not tell but uh, like <sighs> let me see if i can show you on camera this spot right here has a slight run i don't think you'd be able to tell i don't think i'm gonna touch this but we do have a <laughs> all right first of all don't blame me for this because it was my fault but on camera you can definitely tell um let's see if i can show you guys there's a run right here oh yeah you can definitely tell on camera and this needs to be sanded down and buffed slightly but that's the only bad spot in on the door what happened was we were refilling the gun and uh yeah i accidentally touched the adjuster knob for the air and it was laying out too thick that was my bad but everything else looks really good the roof outline looks really really good i don't think i'm even gonna sand this down there's like a slight line right here but yeah color matches perfectly this is exactly what i was looking for everything else looks really good this thing is ready guys i can't believe we got it this far uh it has taken me a while but the as you guys seen from the other videos we did a lot of work replaced this side of the roof bondoed painted this is such a hassle guys i will never do this again i'm telling you right now if i ever rebuild another semi it's gonna have to be a full cap changeover no pieces welding and gluing oh man it's just uh so much but yeah there is a piece that we haven't painted yet the hood here we have fiberglass right there and uh we're gonna go ahead and uh mess with this probably later when we're gonna go ahead and paint this so this uh i think this is the exterior window or sunshade or something like that it is broken at couple pieces here this thing is a thousand dollars from the dealer definitely not paying that and uh it is a specific type of sun visor you can't put it anywhere else so this one only belongs to the 760 nothing else can fit this thing a lot of people won't know what i'm talking about but you see this outline right here only the vnl 760 sun visor fits onto this thing yeah they did this on purpose this whole time i've been rebuilding the semi it took me about two years it was so hard to find parts this little thing is different than the 860 all these windows are completely different than the 860 only the 760 models matches pretty much everything and it's super annoying but here we are i'm not giving up guys this is going to be the end of this video but next video is super interesting we are taking this thing we are putting it installing it back onto the truck it belongs to and we are finally after two years getting this thing started if it starts i think it will but who knows who knows right i think it will we have so much new parts laying in the shop i'm not gonna show you guys right now but we got brand new front tires because i accidentally gave him uh the my front steers to the day cab right there but yeah this thing is done completed she is ready to go and yeah next video guys super interesting so stick tuned for that like always smash like subscribe be blessed deuces